we're getting bang for our buck. Supervised consumption sites, a controversial topic across the country, but a new study suggests they can save millions of dollars and free up emergency medical services for non-opioid issues. They are definitely a cost-effective way to provide health care, and without them, we're going to need to pay more taxes. The report looked at Calgary's SafeWorks location, which opened in 2017. It shows not only does it save money, it also frees up ambulances and decreases the number of people visiting emergency rooms. And we found that for the life of the program, supervised consumption sites have saved Calgarians $2.3 million in additional expenses. And this is because each time somebody with an overdose needs to be taken to by ambulance to the hospital, that costs a minimum of $1,600. The savings aren't Calgary specific. The numbers suggest it would be the same for any Canadian city. So we know that Vancouver has found that their programs pay for themselves um, and actually almost to the point of like putting money back towards the province because the level of prevention and cost deferred is so high. But analysis of the sites can never just be about the dollars and cents. There's always the social aspect too. In the recent report from the Alberta government, they said that there was insufficient data available to do cost analysis and they didn't provide any cost reporting. Um, we were able to do that with information that is publicly available. The study is especially relevant now as the rate of overdoses continues to rise. People are losing jobs, oil prices are way down, COVID means that people have been isolated at home. Our study is specific to Calgary. I have no reason to think that um, other parts of the country would be drastically different. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.